Not many hours on this thing, 39.6. So it isn't many hours at all. All right, low hour machine, still needs to be cleaned up, needs to be maintained, especially the deck. So, all right guys, we'll see you soon. All right guys, this one, like I said, I'm calling stupid stuff that you find when you work on lawn and garden tractors, and power equipment in general. All right, this guy here, when I opened up the back, I just did an inspection. I usually take the battery out, look underneath, clean out all the, uh, Oh, the cobwebs and all that stuff. Hold on. Hold on a second. Uh, I clean out all the cobwebs, blow everything out, blow out all the dust and dirt and everything. Okay, then I put the battery back in. But what happened with, with this tractor, ugh, I saw the battery. It looked like it was not sitting flush, but yet the battery is flush. The fender deck is at an angle, so don't let that fool you. As long as the battery is flush, the deck actually goes on an angle. But the guy put a new battery in it. He never installed the hold down clip, okay? Which is very important. You really gotta install that. And his terminals, they were on finger tight. The screws and nuts and bolts were finger tight. I mean, it's crazy. So to put one of these on, basically what I do, I put this end in first, okay? Then you take the other end and you just push on it and it snaps right in, okay? That way, People put that end in first, and then they try and spring this end over, nightmare, no. This end first, connect it, then just push on the hooked end, it'll go right in. Make sure that your battery is tight, make sure all the connections are good, clean off any corrosion if there is any. This battery is new last July, so it wasn't bad. This piece here, it says make sure you push it into the square hole. Well, he didn't have it in the hole, the thing was just dangling. So this is basically a Home Depot Lowe's type piece of equipment. MTD Cub Cadet, definitely MTD, I don't like them. But anyway, I'm gonna put the battery terminals and screws back on nice and tight so they're snug. This was basically just a standard service. Uh, plugs, easy to get to. This is the 7000 engine that took over for the Courage. Looks like a Courage, same dipstick, same, basically the same parts, but uh, works out pretty good. I put a fuel filter on it. I like to use the Kawasaki filters. They're just, they're decent quality filters. I like using them. They're not that expensive. Kohler engine, I always use, I try to use factory filters, a so Kohler filter. And here's one thing I'd like to point out. Kohler and Briggs and all the rest of them do stupid stuff with their engines, but one smart thing they did was put a drain hose on it. That is a lifesaver. It is a time saver. It's just something that I really think Kohler did well by doing. Briggs does it on a lot of their V-Twins. It's just a good idea. But this thing here, you can see it's all full of grass and stuff. I'm going to blow it out. Um, one thing I see on these engines a lot with these gravity tanks, if you're having problems with these engines stalling, not running right, whatever, check the bottom of this gravity-fed fuel tank. There's a teeny, teeny hole that feeds, gravity feeds this filter. Make sure that it's not obstructed. I've had a few Cub Cadets this model where that tank the hole in the bottom of the tank was obstructed with a little piece of dirt. And what it was, it was the plastic on the end of this fuel cap, the plastic retention cord had broken up and little pieces of plastic got into the rubber bushing on the bottom of this tank. So if you're having problems and you're taking the carbs apart and you're doing all kinds of stuff, make sure the fuel flow isn't impeded by a piece of dirt in there, okay? Um, this was basically straightforward. It's a standard Kohler oval filter. I like how they have the clips now that go on. Uh, that deck, I cannot stand MTD decks. An MTD deck was a type of deck that bit my finger last year or two years ago. And uh, the brake systems on them, I don't like. Um, they are prone to when it's a little bit wet out, the belts will slip like crazy. Also, if you have the blade all the way up, nice thick cut, it doesn't go up high enough that you want it. And also, once you have it real high, the blade tends to slip because the way the belt arrangement is. I just, I don't care for the MTD style of deck and tractor and they've basically made them into the Cub Cadets. So, you know, when you get a Cub Cadet and you see this arrangement where the engagement is a lever here, just be aware if the guy says it's not cutting or whatever, check and see. I mean, this is brand new. This tractor is not even a year old. And uh, the guy was saying the deck wasn't working. I went to go engage it this morning and a couple of factors, it's a dewy spring day out, so it's very wet out. The belt had a lot of dew on it, wet, and uh, it's gonna slip. You get a little water on there, it's gonna slip. You go to cut your grass when it's wet, it's gonna slip. Okay, you start going into real thick grass, it's gonna slip. So 
make sure when you're cutting your grass, if you can, make sure it's dry, the belt will work properly. Make sure you clean out all the grass from the uh, spindles. This thing was full. I mean, the spindles were absolutely outrageous. But uh, one thing the guy was telling me, he was having issues with it starting. It wasn't cranking properly. Well, like I said, the screws that were holding the battery cable on weren't even finger tight. They fell right off. So that would do it as well. He put a new battery in, but he didn't put the retaining clip back on it and he didn't tighten down his screws. So we're gonna take care of that for him. Gonna put the hood back on it and then uh, we'll, have, we'll be on the way. This is called an XT1 Enduro series. It's got the Kohler 7000 series engine, but just when you're servicing power equipment, guys, do due diligence, okay? Look, you know, tires, pressure, put air in them. Any greasing you could do on the front end, does this even have grease fittings? Nope, this one doesn't even have grease fittings. This one has the plastic sleeves that go inside and those are terrible. I mean, there's no way to, to grease them. And uh, yeah, they're, they're not good. So basically a cheap mower, a, a real cheap mower. So blow all the grass out of it. Make sure you got air in the tires. Make sure the deck is clean. Make sure the grass is all out. Make sure the battery connections are good. Since it's a brand new battery, I'm not gonna check state of charge because I know it's brand new. Um, like I said, tractor, God, has how many hours does it have on this? Well, I'll hook it up and I'll show you later, see how many hours, but probably next to nothing. He said he bought it last summer, but like I said, it's tuned up, it's ready to go. Just due diligence, okay? Check the battery, check the connections, make sure everything's clean, blow out all the grass, make sure the spindles are clean. This one here, to show you how new it is, I mean, look at the grass bag, looks like brand new. And look at the blades. Still has a nice edge on, I'm not even gonna sharpen them. The edge is still like brand new. So like I said, I'm gonna clean it out, blow everything out, air pressure, all that stuff, battery. We'll get it back to the guy. Just wanted to point out some of the things you find when you're working on the power equipment. And I like to take the hoods off when I'm working on them. Most of them nowadays, you don't have to unbolt anything. You just lift it up and disconnect the headlights. So, all right, that's it for now, guys. Got any questions, comments, give me a ring. Uh, like, subscribe, uh, help me out with the channel. Hopefully we'll get some uh, new videos coming out shortly. So we'll talk to you soon. See what I told you? Always clean out when you're done mowing your grass, blow it out. I even recommend take the covers off, keep them off. And when you're done, blow it off. This way you won't have trouble with these spindles. And they're so cheap, there's not even grease fittings on them. So who knows how long they're gonna last. All right guys, just another tip. See you soon. All right guys, we got her all set, ready to go. But the deck wasn't turning on and off properly. It seemed like it was binding. And what I found was a piece of branch, broken, stuck inside the linkage for the idler to turn on and off the deck. So I didn't take the deck off. I was able to see it and remove it. But now the deck engages and disengages via this lever. Let me show you. and it disengages properly. When you take that and you engage it, it should engage immediately here. Then when you pull it off, it should come back immediately and the brake should engage and it should shut off. What was happening before was I would go to engage it, it would take about five seconds and then it would engage. And when I went to go disengage it, it didn't disengage for like a minute. And what it was, this piece of stick. It was jamming the linkage so the linkage couldn't work properly. Like I said, this mower is not even a year old. Everything should be working properly with that. So did a little uh, WD-40 under the linkage there. Should operate smoothly now, but check your linkages, guys. You may not have to remove the deck. Sometimes you do, but make sure your deck is working properly, especially the blade break, okay? All right, guys, that should be it for this video. We will talk to you soon. Hey, guys, just one more thing I wanted to add about this Cup Cadet. Uh, this is a video I'm watching from a guy named Metal in Motion Shop. He just did a video on replacing the ignition switch. But what I wanted to show you in that, if you look on the left, you've got the stop sign, okay? If you turn off your mower, you have to have the key in that far left stop position. If you have it on the first click, the LED headlights will be on, okay? You can have it in the run position, turn it back one click to shut it off, but it still has the lights on. 
So make sure you're all the way to the left. This guy had a battery that he replaced last year. And I said, well, how old is the tractor? Because to me, it looked like it was a year old. It only had 39 or so hours on it. He said he had the tractor for about two years and had to replace the battery. And that's why he, in fact, when he tested it in front of me, I had him shut it off. He goes, see, the headlights are on. I said, yeah, you didn't shut it off. He goes, yes, I did. The engine's not running. I said, that doesn't mean it's off. It just means the ignition is off. So I said to him, you, you didn't really need a new battery. You just needed to make sure that you shut off the ignition switch in the stop position every time. If you don't, even though it's little LED lights, it's going to draw that battery down and you're going to have to replace it. Just one more thing MTD does by confusing it, all the different positions on their ignition switch, either off or on. Don't use the middle ones and they're going to drain your battery. All right, guys, that should be it for this one. Talk to you soon.